I'm Anil Kumar. Let us look into few properties of dot product. The question here is explain the associative property for the dot product. And then we also have another question which says explain the distributive property for the dot product. We have many other properties. We'll discuss these two in this particular video. So what is the associative property for the dot product? So when we talk about associative, we have three things, right? In this case, two of them are vectors. So let's say we have vectors, which are, let's say vector u and vector v. And what's the third thing? Well, third thing is a constant, okay, or a scalar. And let's say the scalar is k for us. Right. So these are the things which interact and then we can have associated property of vectors. Now this k belongs to a set of real numbers. So where k belongs to I should have written where I should have written where k belongs to real numbers. Is it okay? That's clear. So scalar any number which belongs to a set of real numbers. That is what it is. So the associative property says that the product of scalar with the vector times the dot product with the vector is same as, we could multiply this with u or we could multiply v with u, is same as u dot, the product of k and v, right? So the order doesn't really matter. That is the associative property of vectors, correct? You could also do scalar times the dot product. So all three are true. So this is very important to understand. So scalar multiple and dot product, the order doesn't matter. That's what we're trying to say here with scalar property of dot product, correct? Scalar property is not between product of three vectors. Remember that, correct? Now let's talk about distributive property. In case of distributive property, we have just vectors. So we have vectors and let us say the vectors are u, v and w, correct? In that case, we could write this as a vector w dot sum of these two which is u plus v for example correct now that could be written as w so can we have dot product with u first and then add to dot product with v dot product is always between vectors you understand now this could be written as u dot w i mean we could change the order do you understand dot w. it doesn't matter this is actually the commutative property All right so so the order really doesn't matter so, so what we're trying to say here is that uh, that u plus v dot w the distributive property says that the dot product of a vector with some of the other two could be written as shown here, right? That is the distributive property for the vectors. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps, correct? We'll use these properties to uh, solve some questions. You could take an example, for example, you could do what is uh, u plus v dot u minus v right so let this be your question right try this question 
using the properties which we have just learned. I'm Anil Kumar and I hope that helps. Thank you and all the best.